I'm Greg Howes, and this is my partner, Brian Fikes. No, you were supposed oh. to say, this is Brian, and oh, then sorry. I say, this yeah. is Greg. Okay. Take two. And together we are Two Flew the Coop. There's just something about chickens. I, I, it's a million dollar question. I'm not quite sure what the answer is. You just want to be held. Huh. She's gonna get jealous. Yes, yeah. I know. They kind of work your magic on you. You can, you can see their little minds processing stuff when they're out scratching about. Ready for your close up? She's a good girl. And she has beautiful profile. These more exotic ones really are, they're eye candy. They look like little showgirls with their crests. Let's see your cute face. There's animals for everybody. <laughs> there's chicken people, there's horse people, there's cat people, there's dog people, so everybody Excuse has their me, favorite ladies. animal. Come on, everyone. Come on. <laughs> Here, chick, chick, chick. So Two Flew the Coop, we kind of, a tagline is everything for backyard chickens. We retail artisan chicken coops. We also sell premium organic feed from Modesto Milling. And then we also offer education to teach folks how to have backyard flocks of their own. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for coming today. We Thank really you. appreciate it. I'm Greg Howes. This is Brian Fikes. And together, we run our uh, business, Two Flew the Coop. Once a year, usually in the spring, is the time that we hold a three-hour class. It's literally a chicken 101. People always ask, what's a lifespan? For a backyard chicken, eight to 10 years. For a chicken that's had a good health and been well taken care of. When it comes to answering questions on day-to-day -day care, uh, housing, feeding, that type of thing, that's where we come in. So this way you can see, I can walk if I've got to take the bird over here. And I've got complete control over her. That's a good way to handle a chicken. She is a hefty girl. People say, is there that much information to learn about backyard chickens? There really is. What we really want this class to be, again, is what was not available to us when we started. We thought, really, what needs to be done for this backyard chicken movement is have real backyard chicken keepers teach a backyard chicken keeping class. Based on personal experience. Based on personal experience. We started when it was highly illegal. We were one of those underground chicken keepers. Um, I tend to be a little obsessive, and every time a helicopter flew over, I was for sure that they were coming to, you know, come after my chickens and I was going to jail. <laughs> but I, I digress. Now, I do talk too, but <laughs> as you notice, he can Just talk a little bit. nonstop without taking a breath. We are actually a married couple. Yeah, we're legally married. Um, been together for, you know, 20 some odd years. Oh, Eureka, here we go. Beautiful eggs today. Folks always ask about that, is that difficult, you know, sort of working together? But it works out really, really well. And I think it's because we know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Because I can be kind of whoop, and then Brian is here, so we kind of meet at a really good spot. I, I'm pretty good about sometimes reining them in and keeping on schedule, keeping on track. <laughs> Brian, with his background, with numbers and things, does all of the financials for us, which is really good. That's not my forte at all. To me, I just hear blah, 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 blah when it's numbers. Um, but when it comes to you know being able to decorate coops and things like that, that's my territory. They're fully functional, but he's able to put his own artistic spin on them. We had karma coops that had you know prayer flags and Buddha images and things like that on it. Cowboy coops. Gosh, we did, you know. Pirate themed. Pirate themed. The ramp that the chickens walk up became the plank. I'd say now they've kind of gone a little bit more, we kind of stick with a sort of a gardeny old farmy kind of shabby chic kind of look now, but it, it really is sort of what put us on the map with these coops were really, really different. Kind of a piece of yard art, not just a functional chicken coop. Well, hello there, Cora. Egg making is going on. So we'll close this and let her go about her business. Give her some privacy. It's all about production. <laughs> all right, continue on. Being that we operate from our home, people can come by at eight or nine o'clock at night if they need chicken food in a hurry. Do you mind that? I mean, you know, if we... they call first, <laughs> that's appreciated. We try to be really old fashioned. If we're gonna be away on a weekend, we'll leave feed bags out on the front porch for people and they drop money in the mailbox. Okay. We trust folks, yeah. It's kind of like Mayberry. 
Come on. Tick, 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 tick. It is a really, really small business. We're certainly not going to be on the Forbes list anytime soon, but slow and steady is absolutely fine. As long as it stays profitable. <laughs> yeah. you know? Do you remember when Zaza went over the back fence? Our neighbors thought we were trying to break into their house and uh, the police were, were called. Well, they did see somebody go over the fence, so. <laughs> Always something interesting with these gals. I think from the, from the beginning and to the way we feel now, I think things have remained the same in really allowing other people to what we offer to be able to do this wonderful hobby of keeping backyard chickens. This is a very nice spot to be in the morning, enjoying backyard chicken lifestyle.